Hey, I've had a couple of questions on the Expedition 1 dual swing bumper, primarily around visibility. So folks want to know, with the relocation bracket on the backup camera, what does that view look like when you're backing up? And two, what does the view look like from the rear view mirror? I've obviously covered mine up with a video rear view mirror, which I like. It may not be everybody's cup of tea, but I did want to show what that looks like so that folks can make the proper decision if they're really considering this bumper. So, like I said, real quick video, just take a look, let me know what you think. So, with the Expedition 1 dual swing bumper, uh, it gives me the ability to carry my full size spare. I could not fit this uh, Cooper Estes. STT Pro, which is a 37 by 1350 underneath without it rubbing, so I had to have an option. The um, bumpers worked out great. I've got the video up on my channel, but uh, some of the viewers had asked some questions, and one of the questions uh, focuses about the uh, backup camera. And the other issue that I noted during my initial video was you tend to lose visibility out of your rear view mirror. So if you look, hopefully you can see that the sun coming in but uh tire obviously blocks a good bit of your rear view mirror space so the backup camera is here which normally it's mounted up i would call that a uh, good uh, eight to ten inches higher so that plug right there is where the backup camera normally is keep in mind this is lifted about four and a half inches in the rear. It's actually lifted more than that, but the, with the compression, with all the weight I've got, it's about four and a half inches above stock. Plus it's got the bigger tires. So obviously that height is a lot higher uh, than it would normally be if you had uh, a vehicle that was left li less lifted or with smaller tires. So one of the questions is the visibility issue. So let me go ahead and show you what you see from the rear view mirror in this, this position. So first of all, the video mirror that I use actually functions as a mirror. It straps over your original rear view mirror, and uh, that's what you normally would see from the rear view mirror perspective. So let me go ahead. All right. So once the, the mirror powers up, I've got it hardwired. It's got a 128 gig uh, micro SD card in it. It continuously records both front and rear. It does have a camera on the back side. It's not a great view because of the adaptive cruise control system. So in here is basically a radar that senses vehicles ahead of me. That does create a little bit of an interesting viewpoint from, uh, from the camera perspective, but the rear view works great. All right, and it continuously records. If I if I get hit, it'll automatically save the function. So it's kind of a it's kind of a nice feature. I like it. It's a lot better than not having any view out of your rearview mirror. So let me shift it into reverse, and there you go. So that is the view. Now that's without the hitch skid on. The hitch skid obviously. Uh, makes that a little bit tighter view and you do see the top of the uh, the spare tire that, like I said that's a 37 so the bigger tire you get obviously the more it's going to encroach on your view but I think it's a pretty good view I think it's just as good as the uh, the original view so I'll put the hitch skid back on real quick just so you can see that so this is my my hitch skid and as you can see it does help but it's rather large So as I said, it does limit your view just a tad, but it's still very doable. I actually went four-wheel drive in a couple weeks back, never took the hitch skid off. It's been on there the whole time and it does not bother me. I drive this almost every day. So doesn't bother me at all. I think the view is just fine, but hopefully that will answer some questions that folks have about the Expedition 1 bumper or camera relocation. And of course the rear view mirror functionality that I put in. Hey, so thanks for watching. That was it. I just wanted to show a real quick view of the backup camera and the 
review mirror camera just so that folks could see what it looks like. Hopefully that answered a lot of questions. If, if I generated more questions, please let me know and I'll do my, my best to, uh, to answer them. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to see my content. Uh, have a great day.